Hi, it is Monday, July 13th, 2020, and we'll begin our devotion with a reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 44, beginning at verse 6. Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first and I am the last. Besides me there is no God. Who is like me? Let them proclaim it. Let them declare and set forth before me. Who has announced from of old the things to come? Let them tell us what is yet to be. Do not fear or be afraid. Have I not told you from old and declared it? You are my witnesses. Is there any God besides me? There is no other rock. I know of not one. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Some of you may know that one of my favorite kinds of television programs is the crime drama. Now I'll be the first to admit that I'm terrible when it comes to solving mysteries. But I enjoy watching the different characters in the different shows. Popular American-made programs like Law and & Order and all the NCIS programs, as well as shows like Father Brown and Midsummer Murders from Great Britain and Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries from Australia. I enjoy watching all the different and very talented actors taking note of their body language and sometimes subtle emotions they portray simply with their facial expressions. So I could easily relate to today's devotion written by Reverend Alvina Olsted, who wrote, Have you ever served on a jury or watched a trial on TV? It is each juror's job to watch the body language and listen to the words of each and every witness. In order to reach a verdict, the jury has to review the testimony of all the witnesses and decide if they are telling the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. The job of the witness is to share with the court and the jury an accurate account of their view of the situation. Many times there are disagreements among the witnesses over the facts in a case. In today's reading from the prophet Isaiah, God asks the listener to be a fearless witness concerning who God is. Today in the world as court, we are called to be God's witnesses. May we share God's presence so others know the truth is being told. Go without fear. Share. So as a post pastoral postscript to this devotion, I suggest describe in your own words the God to whom you would witness. Who is God to you? Creator? Comforter? Rock? Law? Love? Justice? Mystery? Father? Mother? Or is it even possible to describe God, the God of our individual experience, with just one word? How have you experienced God in your life? Who is God to you? Let us pray. O oh God, you are our God, our Creator, our Redeemer, our Sanctifier, and so much more. We come before you with thanksgiving for always being with us. Help us to share with others the good news of who you are. In your name we pray. Amen.